I'm going to continue this process I've shown over and over and over again. But the last thing I want to do before we do a little time skip here is go ahead and get a scan running specifically to look for any user controlled input that's reflected in the DOM. Because remember, that's step one of us going in and finding these client side injections. So let me go ahead and highlight everything that we have here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to scan. And we'll hit audit selected items and you can see all those individual pages that we've discovered since we've started doing this video are listed within here. So we're going to test all of the individual attack vectors on each of those just to see if there's any user controlled input reflected in the server response. That's the only thing we want to look for. 